today, I thought we'd work on some real basic stuff in our how-to. How to do a roll-up. I'm going to give you a demonstration of how the roll-up is done. It's a Pilates move. As you can see, I can push my arm all the way underneath my back. My back is naturally arched. I'm going to pull my pelvis up and force the flat of the back to go down. No more arch. Brings my knees up a little bit. I'm going to take a deep breath. I'm going to bring the arms up very slowly. Flattening the back. Here comes the chin into the chest. I'm going to push the knees down, roll myself up, I'm rounding the back, keep the legs down, feet on the mat, going to ease myself up, going to bring the chin down, reach forward, drop the chin, touch the toes. Now right here, I'm stretching my lower back, I'm stretching the hamstrings, I'm also using the abdominal cavity, stretching the upper back as I reach forward and over the toes. It's a great way to release a lot of tension in the body. I'm going to release the feet, slowly going back, all the time able to stop myself, support myself through the entire range of motion. It's a great example of core strength. If you can look behind me at the shot in the mirror, you'll see my back is rounded. Henceforth, the roll-up. You roll things that are round. So as I ease myself back a little further and do this at your own pace, Work with me. Work with yourself. You're going to stop right here. You're going to find a spot where you think, I can't go any further than that, and that's going to be the spot where you're going to work on it. So now I'm going to go to work. I'm going to ease it back. I'm going to bring it up. I'm going to ease it back. I'm going to bring it up. It's like a rusty hinge in the door. You want to put a little oil on it, and then you just want to work it back and forth back and forth. If you notice, I'm going pretty slow. I'm not throwing the body up. That's not what this exercise is about. You want your movement to be fluid, controlled, smooth. There's no tension in my face. I'm relaxed. Easing it back even further, I roll the back. Look at that lower back. Nice and round. I continue to stop myself whenever I want. Ease it back. There goes the lower back, the middle back, the shoulder blades, the hands are going to come back. Big breath. I blow it out. Hands go back. That's the roll up. The slower you can do it, the more stops, the more you will develop your core strength. It's the stomach and the back working together. Again, to develop how, how can I do this? Like I'm rolling myself up. How can I do this? Start right here. Ease it back, bring it forward. Ease it back, bring it forward. Ease it back, bring it forward. You want to challenge yourself? Take it back a little further. Ease it back, bring it forward. Ease it back, bring it forward. If you want to really challenge yourself and work with the obliques, Turn to the side, turn to the side. We'll cover more of that in our next installment. Thanks for watching.